Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Yasser Ali, and I am here today with a new lecture of PHP tutorial series on an exam system. Uh, in the last lecture, we have created a method connect DB, and we have called this method from inside the constructor of this class, so that whenever we create the object of this database class, this method should get called uh, automatically uh, to get linked to the database. Uh, one thing which I had missed, in fact, this. So in today's lecture, what we have to do is uh, we have to get the values of these two variables that are coming from the login page uh, in the variable email and password. So we have to get these variables, uh, these values in uh, on this page. So I have uh, saved these two values in two different variables. So next thing is I want to keep this system uh, as generic as uh, possible and this is definitely the purpose of object oriented programming. So I need to create another class. Uh, named user uh, which would entertain the requests coming from uh, login page and registration page so let's create a new file and uh, name it name it a class which is the name of the uh, sorry let's name it user name this class user sorry write the class keyword first user and let's save it into our projects folder so let's create another folder to save all the classes in So here we have a class. So inside this class, we need to have a constructor as well. So for constructor, we don't need to give the access specifier like public, private, and protected. Construct. And inside this class, uh, we need to create the object of the database class because uh, in order to send the values to the database, uh, we need a database connection. So let's create the object of the database inside this constructor. And uh, store it in a variable so that we could later on reference it. Public DB and this DB. Since I know that I won't be able to access this database class uh, without including the file over here. So let's do that. For this purpose, I need to copy this whole path and uh, paste it over here. Change this to library because I have kept the database class inside this folder database I hope so it would be connected so next thing now we need to create the object of this class user over here because we want to write a method inside the user class to entertain the request of this page so let's create the object of the user class user and save it into the variable called USR. Now uh, as I have previously mentioned that uh, we will not be able to access this class until and unless we include the file user. So for that again copy this thing and paste it over here and change the path to the path of the class classes and user now create a method in uh, side the user class to entertain the request that will be sent from here so first 
call that method and then after that we will be creating it in the user class. So user let us call that method uh, user login and pass these two parameters in this method. One is mail and other one is password like that. So let us now define this method over here in the user class below the constructor public function and now I have to implement the logic and uh, I need to send these values to the database and for that purpose I need to create another method, method inside the database class which would uh, take these values and would send it uh, send them to the database so this is what uh, we have had for uh, today's class thank you very much for watching my tutorial in the next tutorial we will be sending uh, the data to the database thank you